And with the presentation of that check, well, Nigerians can now look forward to the construction of about 44 key road projects across the country. Our ICE correspondent, China Merim Joseph, now brings us the details. Just a few months back, the Debts Management Office, on behalf of the federal government, issued the third sovereign Sukuk bond offer of 150 billion naira. After trading, this offer was oversubscribed by investors to the tune of 162.5 billion naira. Just like the government did before, proceeds from this bond has once again been handed over to the Ministry of Works and Housing for the rehabilitation and construction of road projects across the country. The federal government has been able to raise a total of 362.577 billion through Sukuk. I can confirm that the 200 billion naira that was raised in 2017 and 2018 when added together have been fully deployed and with the synergies on the roads I believe many of us have seen the roads and can confirm that uh, the funds were used for the purpose for which it was intended. The Minister of Works and Housing, Babatunde Fashola, gives a rundown of geopolitical zones that will benefit from the Sukuk project. The North Central will utilize 26.5 billion, the North East 30.5 billion, North West 26.5 billion, South East 26 billion, South South 26 billion, and South West 27.05 billion. All these funds will be injected into our economy at this period of the COVID impact in order to reach ordinary Nigerians who supply building and construction materials. The Minister of Finance, Budget and National Planning, Zainab Ahmed, said the amount represents the total value appropriated for road construction in the 2020 budget. The Debt Management Office has raised the sum of 162.55 billion Naira from investors in June 2020. This amount is strictly dedicated to the financing of road projects in the revised 2020 Appropriation Act. We're confident that Despite the challenges of 2020, that our capital releases for 2020 will outperform very significantly what we were able to do in 2018 and 2019. The strong response by investors to the third sovereign Sukuk bond appears to be indicative of good market awareness and acceptance of it as a financial product. The government, however, plans to continue to use Sukuk bonds to support the development of infrastructure and other capital projects. Chinamarem Joseph, Arise News.